We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina, provide our opinions to them here on our weblogs, and also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local, keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. Today we are drinking and reviewing the Peacemaker out of the uh, Lone Rider Brewery in Raleigh. Lone Rider opened their doors in January 2009. Since have become impressed with the enthusiasm of craft beer aficionados they meet daily. Uh, they say the craft brewing industry is booming and you can find a tremendous variety out there. They say the North Carolina Dally has become the southern state for beer with actual reign supreme, Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill not far behind. They continue to support the variety and encourage new brewers to experiment with craft new styles for everybody's pleasure. The Lone Rider philosophy is effect change. Don't be an audience. Walk your own path. Instead of take, thinking outside the box, imagine what if there was no box. Of the peacemaker, they say, the peace is a dangerous thing. <laughs> peacemaker Boy. is a West Coast style American pale ale, uses several hop varieties to produce a unique and bountiful hop aroma with balanced bitterness. Special blend of American and European malts make this a very well-rounded, characterful beer at 5.7% ABV. So well, what do we think? Well, well, beautiful golden color, kind of a reddish cherry. You poured it well and didn't get a lot of head uh, here. Not a lot of head at all. I mean, and the head retention is <laughs> zoop. Um, from, from visually, I don't see a lot of effervescence. Very mild, you can yep. see, but nothing crazy. Um, you don't get a lot of aroma, a lot, not a lot, anything special uh, coming through, a little uh, fruity? No, I'm actually getting a little bit of hop. Okay. I'm smelling hop. And you know, with American Pale Ales, the hotness can range all over the place, and we're going to see what we think of right. this, but it, you, yep. you, can, you don't know what you're going to get with American Pale Ale as far as hops is concerned. Yep. So let's see what we think. Hmm. There is definitely some hops there. There is some hops. There's hops, more than you might think. And the effervescence wasn't a lot, so it, it, it didn't really have a, a prickly feel, not at all. The clean mouth feel, mm -hmm. it leaves a little bit of bitterness um, afterward. I could definitely, as it's going down, I can you can taste the hoppy. Uh, it has a mm -hmm. little, the, uh, well to me it didn't clean finish, uh, finish clean. Go back and forth, um, but I just I definitely taste them. But that's fine. I mean, that's pretty much. What do you, think, what do you think about the esters, the fruity esters? I don't really get them much. Uh, I'm not getting any fruit right. esters. No fruit. Nah. No. 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 It's just um, pretty much. I mean, it's got. Um, a little bit of a bitterness afterwards, but nothing. I mean, this is a, this is an American pale ale. So. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting it. Thanks, right? Yep. Um, I'm gonna probably rate this as a bomber. I could do some of this if I was in the mood. It's not gonna ever be my go-to sit down and drink all night kind of beer, but it's uh, what it's advertised to be. And I'll do a bomber. Yeah. No. I mean, I think for an American pale ale, it's got a, it's got a good. I mean, the the flavor. You know, I'm getting some hoppiness. You know, in my head, it's already there, so it's just what I expected. It I'll pop it open, you know, pop open the bottle, and I'm getting what's there. So I'm giving it a bomber, also. All right, bomber, 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 bomber. Until next time, remember, give us some feedback on what we're doing here. We know the Lone Rider people appreciate feedback as well. Uh, yep. Remember, until next time, drink local, keep your beer dollars in North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, buds.